Abby and I are out just kind of exploring around today. It's, a, it's still pretty nice for January. And last night we just got some crazy, crazy wind storms. So we were out driving around and thought this would be a good opportunity to do a drone review. Now normally when I do my intro, I've got the thing here in my hands, right? To show you guys what we're doing. Today is a little different. This is like a little utility drone. Believe it or not, that's, that's our drone. I'm a little excited because this drone by Holy Stone sold on Amazon, which is a lot of you guys know of these guys, uh, promises to do some things that normal drones can't do. And that's why it piqued my interest and it's why it's on the channel today. So obviously this is a folding arm drone. Here are the arms folding in and out. But the cool thing is that caught my eye is, I don't know why, I'm a sucker for a good flashlight and a pocket knife and stuff. We've got a little on off switch here and this, right, there you go, Abby. Little on off switch when you kick it on, we've got a flashlight. So when you have a charged battery in here, which is a thousand milliamps, you know, you're walking around and here you go, you've got your flashlight. In the house, we actually did a little bit of testing and, and it works, it's a nice bright light. I showed Abby and I was like, you're not gonna believe this, this drone's a flashlight. Okay, so that's one thing. Another is this full-size USB port on the back of the drone. When's the last time you saw a full-size USB port? That is there to charge your phone when you're out and about, which I think is crazy. I'm, I think this came out like four months ago, right around the time the little Mavic Mini controversial drone came out. And it's interesting that they're trying to implement, you know, use your drone to charge your phone. So I think that's cool. If you really wanted to and your drone's charged or halfway charged or whatever, and you're like, man, my phone's dead. You got a thousand milliamps you can transfer to your phone battery, whatever. It's neat that it's there. Thank you for doing something different with the drone. That's not it, there's one more thing. When you turn this drone on, I like when drones do different things. <laughs> That's so dumb. It's, yeah, but it's different, right? It's not the same thing over and over again. So our drone is on. Also, this is an optical flow drone, so that's cool. But this is what's different. Okay, let's, Abby, you, you smile. We're gonna take a picture of you. It flashed. So, <laughs> supposedly, and I've got a light indicator telling me it's working, this is like a handheld camcorder. <laughs> Uh, got any bats in the cave? We'll find out. Uh, so right now it's recording to an included 8 gig micro SD card that's just in the side of the drone and we can do our selfie vlogs on the ground with our camera drone just the press of a button. So you don't even have to fly it to get it to work. I don't know if there's any audio on here. That'd be nice. We'll find out when we do this. Otherwise we'll be using that camera's audio. So that's really interesting, right? Just a handheld video camera or, or you know you don't have to then again we, uh, we do have this too so okay that's that's what it does let's hit let's see the video button it should save to the micro sd card now let's see if this can actually fly well and perform as a drone because if if it can't fly well and it can't perform great as a drone itself then all of that is for nothing so let's put it in the air have a little fun with this camera drone Drone on first, then the radio, which by the way, I'll show you the radio at the end of this flight. It has a rechargeable battery and throttle up and down just to calibrate the drone. We have an auto takeoff Wait, button. Start oh. your camera. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Video recording. Okay, good. There's an indicator. Love it. And I'm doing a screen capture too. No annoying beeping either. Okay, auto takeoff. I just pressed the takeoff button, started the motors, press it again to take off, hold it. Okay, it's not an auto takeoff button, it's just a start the motors button, so we're gonna throttle up. Called it an auto takeoff button in, yeah, the, it is weird, in the instructions. Hey, the video feed on your phone looks good. This is supposed to be a 1080p camera, and I'm not touching any buttons. I, I like to do the first 30 seconds or so of the flight without touching a single button, So, and I'm not I'm not doing that. That is on the, on the drone's own mind. <laughs> So I like to see how well the altitude hold, the GPS if it has it, or the optical flow works. And in this case, we have optical flow. With a light breeze, that's actually looking great. This drone's supposed to have about a 10 minute flight time. We're gonna do the actual full flight with you guys here and put that to the test. So right now we're about a minute in. That's pretty good. And we're in the first lowest rate. It is nice and slow, which is kind of what you would want on a camera drone. You know, we can get more cinematic-ish shots here. So, you know what, I mean, look at that camera feed. That's surprisingly good. 
We've been brutal on Holystone stuff in the past, and I'm pretty happy with that. For the price of this drone, you know, that's, that's not bad. We're just kind of exploring around here, and I'm going, I know it's out of sight probably for you, most, mostly. <laughs> I looked out and I don't see you. I was trying to go around that tree, <laughs> and I actually almost hit the tree. But look, you can actually <laughs> see the bark and stuff on here. Like, most of the time, these cheaper camera drones... The live feed is not that good. No. Yeah, oh, but and it's auto landing. Whew. The image quality looks pretty good. The image quality is good. really good. And it's going to be probably even better. Don't hit the tree, don't hit the tree. <laughs> Gosh. I am so close to Get it. Get away from the tree. Yeah, I need to come back. So I'd say that's about our range because <laughs> it, it's struggling. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna walk Image ahead quality. Some. There Gross. we go. There we go. Okay, it's I got I got controls back. It just keeps like auto landing. And it, the I think it I think it completely turned off. So it doesn't it doesn't like that range at all. That's probably I don't know. Less I than don't even know where it is. drone behind the table <laughs> I didn't know where it was at all usually I don't lose these things but with the tree line today I couldn't see it oh I see it. I see it it's in the air it's right there I brighten this up do you see it bobbing around I wonder so it just must, it must not have very good range um, I don't know I don't know how far that is, but one, two, three RV spots away. <laughs> how about that? We'll use RV spots for measurement. <laughs> three RV spots down. That's how far it went and kind of lost some range. So the, the live video feed cut out. It was free. Well, it didn't cut out. It just froze on a screen. That's what I mean when I say cut out. And did that auto land? Was it on the ground? I couldn't. Auto okay. Yeah, so it auto landed. It just outdid it again. Uh, why? I don't know. <laughs> so now we know why we saw YouTube videos of this not flying for more than right. five seconds oh. without cuts. <laughs> so I don't tend to watch a video of things before we do our own video because I don't like to have a skewed opinion, but I did watch about three videos of this. To see what other people thought. And there are so many jump cuts throughout their video showing best case scenario. I have to walk and go get the drone. Keeps auto landing. Okay, I flipped the mic around for Nate. I think he's gonna end the video here in a second. Uh, that's why you didn't see that take off. Go, oh, go, 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 go. Rates, it has rates. This is rate three. What? Yeah, so. That's rate three? Here's rate one. It can't fight the wind, rate two, and there's rate three. So the reason we were getting stuck back there and I couldn't go any further was because, oh, there we go. <laughs> it's asking to use the internet. What? We don't want to use that. Why does it need it the internet? It doesn't, it doesn't. It's not a GPS drone or anything. The reason it got stuck back there is because in rate one, it couldn't fight the wind. And I didn't realize that because that's a really, really sensitive rate. And then I don't know why it's all, it auto landed down there. All I was doing was holding throttle up and forward. And then it auto landed on the way back up here too. The battery's not close to being dead at all. There's no telemetry on here, but it does say, well, maybe there's little squares, but there's an indicator on the back of the drone and it shows two out of three lights on. So we should get at least another four minute flight time out of this. I will give it this. This is, there's a light breeze, maybe three miles an hour. But it's holding really, really very, well. Very light. It is holding really well. Uh, yeah. So the videos that I've seen of this are like best case scenario. Of Which the we drone. figured when we saw them. We see that a lot. There's a lot of ambassadors to uh, to promote stuff like this. Yeah. You know, back in the day, Holy Stone put out some pretty good competitive little toy grade drones. I haven't kept up with the market though. The I do prices like, have gone up, yeah. but their quality has gone down or just stayed the same. I don't I, know. I like how stable that is. That's, that's very stable. Good yeah. for them on that. And I like the unique ideas because I do think those are our unique ideas to have flashlight, handheld camera, and a USB charge port on the back. It's not useful at all though. But if the drone doesn't function well, what is the point? What is it going to be like the apocalypse? You'd be like, oh no, my battery on my flashlight died. Wait, my drone still has a my charge. Get the flashlight, flashlight drone. <laughs> <I> <laughs> like, what? Now listen, 
I do like when someone does something different. So huge credit for that. But the range on this is total, total poo. You can only fly it way closer than line of sight. I'm just taking it up some so people can actually get a drone view. For, there, that's the max height on this for now. Or maybe just <laughs> battery limitations. Yeah, I think we're getting a low battery indicator now. At seven minutes of flight time. So, yeah, this is the, another Holy Stone drone sold on Amazon. Let's uh, stop the video recording here. So hopefully it'll save. I don't like know why they keep sending them, okay. sending us their drones. I know. There's the auto landing. <laughs> they keep sending them to us, and we keep telling you all how terrible they are. <laughs> like I don't get it. Nope. I, I mean, <laughs> you gotta respect them though for continually sending us their drone, knowing we're probably gonna tell you it's not good. <laughs> well, here's the thing. There's like 30 videos out there of people saying this is a good drone. I'm sure. Of I, mean, I didn't watch them all. Maybe there's someone saying, there's there. saying the truth, but. I was excited about this. I tend to do. I tend to do that with all these little drones. Flashlight, little uh, charge port for your phone. It's very cool. I think that's cool. Commendable. Folding arm drone, and then also, you know, take a picture. Cow, right there, like that. Um, and in video. I think that's neat. And I wanted this to perform better. But if you can't even fly it like a. Uh, half a football field away. Three RV spots, I told them. Three yeah. RV spots down. <laughs> yeah, it's probably like 20 picnic tables lengths or something, I don't know. It's. <laughs> I love our measurements on this video. <laughs> <laughs> it's That's not a great drone. Uh, I'm really disappointed overall, and I think you guys would be too if you bought this. If, you're, if your expectations are set so low that that's a good drone in your opinion, then you really should watch more of our videos because we're pretty rough on on drones you know we have pretty high expectations because we've flown almost a thousand drones and i mean uh we've had our hands on drones that are cheap and they work and they do what they say they're going to do but this one it doesn't you know it's great it's a flashlight here you go it does that <laughs> there you go yeah all right don't buy this thanks unless a lot you really need a flashlight <laughs> yeah, yeah an overpriced hundred dollar flashlight guys if you appreciate the honesty which i know all of you do if you're still watching i just want to say thank you to our current existing patrons without you guys we would not be able to afford to keep the lights on and to keep the honesty rolling because you know what eventually holy stone's going to be like i don't think we're going to send them any more drones but we can still buy them and put them on our channel if we'd like so we do that with a lot of things that you see on our channel that's how we can keep the videos honest and that's how we're able to keep upgrading our camera gear and stuff too it's it's about time for another upgrade <laughs> there's a spider on the end of the camera i'm going to get that Save we're going to wrap up the video Please. thanks a lot for watching we'll see you in the next video <laughs> bye <laughs>